Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Doodle with uh, Microsoft Outlook very, very easily. I can show you uh, two ways how to do it. First one is through Zapier.com, the very well known, a very well known option for integrations and then Automate.io. So first let's go through Zapier. In Zapier, uh, first of all, we have to log in, but it's completely free. So uh, you see me being already logged in. And this is a dashboard inside of the Zapier. What we want to do here. Easiest way how to create a Zaps or uh, the integrations as they call it at Zapier. It's to click on the top left corner where you see the, this plus button in an orange field and click on create zap. Once we managed all the tasks before, uh, we are logged in in Zapier and we found uh, this little button. We have to find a trigger. What will happen in what uh, application to trigger an event in the action field? So for now, we want to start with a doodle. We see doodle, we press the doodle event. Once you click inside of the pop-up window, there's going to be tons of options. Booking uh, page event uh, booked, updated doodle event booked, doodle event updated, uh, one-on-one -on -one booked, one-on-one -on -one updated, many, many options. So all of those are instant. So let's go with doodle event booked. This is what starts as app. We hit continue. And then you have to sign in to Google, uh, to doodle, sorry. We click the sign in, accept all. I believe I logged in with my Gmail account. You are already logged in back to application. And here we are here. We just press the option. And you see, we have everything in here. Also the very, very irritative ads that they are using if you are not a pro user, but we should be signed in. Yeah, we are already signed in. Doodle, well, this is my second account. We hit continue. And here we can test the trigger with uh, Zapier. We can do it, but uh, we don't actually necessarily have to. And for the sake of the length of this video, let's continue. Second one is an action. Here, we are going to go with Microsoft Outlook. Microsoft Outlook, we can still change it if we want to. Choose an event. Uh, here we can uh, create an event, for example. We hit continue. Choose an account. Let's go with this one. Oi, oi, oi. We have to reconnect it. Oi, oi, oi. This option. Here we go. One second. Okay. Looks good. Yes. Okay. I don't really need this one. Yeah, but uh, we should be already logged in. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is not working at all. Okay, use the one that isn't really expired. And then uh, to continue and finish uh, it all. But yeah, let's let's go. I want to show it through and through. Here we go. Let's go. Nice. 
we hit the continue and then set up an action. We can go with a calendar, subject, start date, end date, uh, when the event will pop in. And yeah, to continue finish required fields. Here, guys, I'm going to leave you because uh, you have to go and go, for example, calendar subject will be uh, exactly what you uh, need to. So it will vary on each and every option that you are going to put in. And then to continue and finish uh, required fields and you're basically there. If this is the harder part or you have a problems with finishing them or uh, for some reason you are not fond of uh, Zapier, we can still go and try it with automate.eo, which is very similar site for integrations, but it works a little bit faster. But I love Zapier a little bit more. So here we are, here are all the integrations and uh, just we can get started you can do it even without uh, even without logging in so integration seal categories and here we go exactly the same way we want to start with doodle but uh, as you can see at the moment with doodle as i feared uh, Automate is not providing uh, Doodle options for integrations, which I played myself because I thought that 100% they're offering it. So uh, we can either just use Zapier, which works perfectly fine, or you can uh, keep that in mind and next time you are going to use or you are going to need to use integrations you can also use Zapi, uh, Automate, for example, let's go with Slack, with Salesforce, get started. Yeah, you have to log in. And yeah, and you'll be able to finish that integration in no time. So if you have any types of questions about uh, how to integrate uh, the Doodle events, please let me know underneath this video. And I'll try to get back in with you. And yeah, it's pretty easy. I believe everyone can do it uh, without any problems. Uh, thank you guys for watching. As I said before, if you have any types of questions, let me know. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you feel like. Thank you guys again and see you in the next one. Have a great day.